When a year finishes, people always have resolutions for the new year, things they have to improve in their lives, and I have a few to fulfill in the sewing room. I have a few technical ones, and a few learning ones, and a few or videos, a few ideas. So I'm going to start with the Mm, technique and the first one is that I need to learn a bit more about how to use my sewing machine I sew and that's it I don't think about it but I need to learn a bit about uh, needles and uh, foot and for that I've bought myself a few different needles for different fabrics and for different uh, purposes depending on the on the fabric you need different needles and some people told me that uh, for thinner fabrics there are sharper needles and that will make the work easier and another thing I just bought and really excited about it it's a whole box of food there's a few I have no idea what they're for but that's the learning process, isn't it? I think it's going to be really interesting and it's going to make sewing so much easier. Uh, for example, the next one is that I'm afraid of uh, zippers and I think it's because the foot I have, it's only for one side of the zipper, so I needed the other side, but uh, I wasn't able to get it anywhere. And in this one, there's one with the double side, so that's good. That's going to be really good. And I need to learn more about what food to use depending on the fabric. It's true that there's this plastic one for leather or for leathery materials because the guy told me there's another one. Oh yes, this one with a little roll thing for leather, that's going to be really good really exciting I've never heard of them I don't know what half of them are for so this is going to be really exciting to learn all about this the next one is that I have to improve my hand sewing I'm so bad at hand sewing because I made such an effort with the needle and there's no need I don't know how to push with my thimble and it's always a mess so I need to improve that if I want to fulfill the next one, which is embroider a bit. I used to like embroidery, not only cross stitch, but proper embroidery. So I would like to go back. I would like to uh, have a go at it again, because I used to go to lessons when I was a little and I really liked it. And talking about hand sewing and embroidering, I want to learn as well crochet and knitting. I'm really bad at those, people have tried to teach me, but uh, same, I don't know how to, it, it's really difficult, I, I'm so tense, so I need to relax, supposed to be relaxing, and have a go at it. Another thing I want to learn about is about different fabrics and materials because sometimes I buy a piece of material because I love the pattern and then I come here, I cut it and it doesn't look right because it wasn't supposed to be cut that way or using this um, type of pattern so I need to learn a lot about fabrics. Another thing I want to do is to keep reading my books about pattern and even mm, figuring out an F there is in one of the books that I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> it's a book that explains uh, how to measure and how a sleeve is made and you go from point A to point B and you get C from this measurement but then it gets to a point, an F, that I don't know where it came from. So I want to figure that out, even if I have to go to Russia to get the lady. One thing I've been enjoying is pattern making and I want to keep learning. And I've bought myself some French curves to keep learning. I'm really excited to use these. I've just, I bought them yesterday. I've just uh, got them and I haven't used them at all. But I'm really excited to learn how to use them and uh, make something with them. The thing I want to do is to get rid of all the stuff I have in the first drawer here. Uh, it's where I have all my mending stuff, things I have to mend, and I don't really know what's in there. 
there are bags with stuff that I don't know. This dress and the other one I mended on my last video were in there and I really don't know, I have to empty it and see what's in there. I think there are trousers that belong to my husband, I don't know what I had to do with them, I don't remember. There are skirts people have given me to do something with and stuff, stuff. So I have to empty that and get rid of all of it. One thing we realized only last week, I say we because my husband and I were talking and uh, is that I don't talk to English people in inches and you use inches so I should change that. So from now on I'm going to measure stuff in centimeters and then say the measurements in inches so everyone has a, a better understanding of everything because it's something I would like people do when I watch videos in English so I'm going to do that. Let's start a trend. One idea for videos I want to do is to make a mini series and it is uh, about sewing little stuff, all the little bits of sewing, sewing a zipper, sewing a French seam, anything little that don't get to be explained on a normal video would be nice to have on a little, on a short video to check every time you have, uh, you doubt yourself. I think it'd be good, I think I can learn a lot from them and I can help people as well. Another one I'm really excited about is to make videos about outfits I'm seeing in series I'm watching. All the outfits on series are quite eye-catching and we always like them, so let's make them. I think that's going to be really exciting. So let me know down in the comments what series you're watching to see if we're watching the same and or recommend me one so we can see what outfit we can make. The next one I want to make it because some people have asked me how long it takes to make something. For example, how long it took me to make a, a handbag and I don't really know the answer because I'm recording everything so it takes maybe triple the time or double the time, I don't really know because I get up, I change the camera, I record this, I do that and it takes longer, a lot longer so I don't know how long the sewing bit takes so I would really like a real-time uh, video about uh, how to make something just record what I'm doing and see how long it takes and the last one is going to take a, a bit of planning and it's a bit further along the way but it is that I'm going to do Vlogmas at uh, Christmas. As you know, Vlogmas are uh, daily videos people do and publish on Christmas days all the month of December. I didn't do it this year because I thought it was too much work and it is but I've noticed that the views have gone not down, but I haven't got views on the older videos. Uh, the new videos have been alright, as always, because I have such a nice um, people who watch me. But the old ones always get uh, views from the new ones, so I didn't get that. I think there's so much stuff people are uploading that uh, I was a bit um, drunk about everything. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do that next year, so that's going to be good. And these are all my resolutions. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what are yours, if you have resolutions for your sewing room. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week. Bye!